Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will discuss about Phaneria. Uh, this genus will be covered in two parts. This is part one and today we will discuss about its systematic position, general characters, gametophyte, the main plant body and internal structure of stem and leaf. So let's start. Firstly we will discuss about its general characters. In general characters, firstly we will discuss its systematic position. This Phineria belongs to division Bryophyta, class is Bryopsida, order is Phineriales, family is Phineriaceae, genus is Phineria, and species, which is the most common species, that is Hygrometrica. This Phineria word is derived from a Latin word Funis, which means rope or cord. So that's why this Phineria is also known as cord moss and is a genus which contains approximately 117 species and there are approximately 18 species which are reported from India and this Phineria hygrometrica is the most common species and commonly it is known as cord moss uh, because of its twisted seta because it have it has twisted seta so these structures are known as seta and they are twisted around each other and uh, so that's why this is known as cord moss. And its plant body is gametophyte. And this photograph you can see here, this portion, this portion is known as gametophyte, which is the main plant body. And this stalk-like structure is known as seta. And this is capsule, and these form the sporoph sporophyte. And this is the sporophytic part of this funeria. Firstly, gametophytic phase is the main plant body and it starts with the germination of meospore or <coughs> spore. So, the gametophytic plant body it grows in dense patches or cushions in most of the shady and moist and cool places. So, in this photograph you can see here, so the, this genus grows as cushion or patches in a moist shady area. And gametophytic phase start with the germination of haploid spores, which is called meospore. And plant body ki height ki baat karte hai. so it is one to three centimeter in height. So this is the gametophytic plant body, and its height hai, that is one to three centimeter. And it consists of erect stem covered with small, simple, and sessile leaves. Sessile leaves means leaves without petiole. And its leaves hoti hai, these are smaller, smaller leaves at the base and larger leaves with prominent midrib at the tip and they form the crown of this gametophyte leaves are spirally arranged on the stem jo leaves hain wo stem mein spirally arranged hoti hai spiral phyllotaxy show karte and leaves are crowned toward apical region of the plant and are broadly spaced in the basal region jo basal area region hai is plant body ka gametophyte ka वहाँ पे वो broadly spaced होते हैं और जो tip है crown है वहाँ पे वो densely uh, uh, arranged होते हैं and जो mature leaves होते हैं they have prominent midrib and the gametophytic plant body lacks vascular system इसमें xylem or phloem absent होता है root like rhizoids are present जिनका काम होता है to anchor the plant body into the substratum and absorb some nutrients and solutes water and each rhizoid is branched filamentous multicellular and contain unique oblique septa so this is the plant body is mejo basal portion hai, leaves are scarce uh, broadly spaced or ye size mein chote hote hain jabki jo tip hai this crown region yahan pe densely arranged hote hain leaves and uh, from this main axis iske base se rise hote hain rhizoids which are multicellular branched and have oblique septas. The gametophyte hai, isko hum do stages mein divide karte hain, consist of two growth stages. One is juvenile stage, that is the younger stage or developing stage, and then comes full mature leafy gametophyte, gametophore. Jo gametophyte hai, so do parts mein hum iski uh, gametophyte ko divide karte hain on the basis of its growth stages. Firstly, juvenile stage 
इट स्टार्ट विद द जर्मिनेशन ऑफ स्पोर स्पोर की जर्मिनेशन से बनता है ये एंड इट कंजिस्ट ऑफ सिलेंडर ग्रीन ब्रांचिंग सिस्टम ऑफ फिलामेंट्स जिसको कहा जाता है प्रोटोनिमा प्रोटो मीन्स अर्ली निमा मीन्स थ्रेड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर फिलामेंटल स्ट्रक्चर सो स्पोर की जर्मिनेशन से जो फिलामेंटल स्ट्रक्चर बनता है उसे प्रोटोनिमा कहा जाता है दिस इज़ द यूनिक फीचर ऑफ ब्रायोफाइट्स and there are some branches of this protonema which grows over the substratum jo substratum ke upar grow karti hain and these these are green in color and are commonly known as chloronemal branches because they contain chlorine chimeric cells isme chloroplast present hota hai so the in branches ko chloronemal branches kaha jata hai and there are some branches isi protonema ke kuch branches hain jo penetrate karti hain substratum mein means they enter inside the substratum and they are pale yellowish in color and they develop the oblique septa and forms the rhizoidal branches which will form the rhizoids and this stage is ephemeral stage that is it is short lived stage so these spore ki germination se ye jo branch ki tarah structures hain this filamentous structure is known as protonema isme jo chlorophyll bearing cells hain unko un branches ko chloro animal branches kaha jata hai and there are some pale uh, कलर्ड ब्रांचेस जो कि राइजॉइडल ब्रांचेस होती हैं विच पेनिट्रेट इन साइड द सबस्ट्रेट नेक्स्ट कम्स लीफी स्टेज जिसको कि गैमेटो फोर भी कहा जाता है इट स्टार्ट्स एज लिटरल बर्ड्स ऑन द प्राइमरी प्रोटोनिमा जो स्पोर की जर्मिनेशन से प्रोटोनिमा बनता है उसकी लिटरल बर्ड से अराइज होता है एंड ग्रोज इन टू मेच्योर और मेच्योर प्लांट और वहाँ से ये ग्रो करके मेच्योर गैमेटो और मेच्योर प्लांट बनाता है इट कंजिस्ट ऑफ सेंट्रल एक्सिस एक सेंट्रल एक्सिस होती है इसमें स्टैम की तरह जिसको कि स्टैम की तरह स्ट्रक्चर जिसको कि कॉलॉइड भी कहा जाता है एंड हैव लिटरल लीव्स विच आर कॉमन इन एज फाइलॉइड इसका जो बेस होता है दैट कंटेन्स न्यूमरस ब्राउन मल्टी सेलर राइजॉइड्स विद ऑब्लिक सेप्टा दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन द स्टार्टिंग साइड दैन लोएस्ट लीव्स आर स्मॉलेस्ट जो लोअर लीव्स होती हैं वो छोटी होती है साइज में एंड द लार्जर टूर्स द टिप और जो टिप्स में प्रेजेंट होते हैं लीव्स दे आर लार्जर दैन द बेस्ट लीव्स एंड दीज लार्जर लीव्स कंटेन डिस्टिंक्ट प्रोमिनेंट मिड्रिब एक्सेप्ट द यंगर लीव्स एट फेस जो बेस्ट लीव्स हैं यंगर लीव्स उनमें मिड्रिब प्रोमिनेंट नहीं होता है एबसेंट होता है सो दिस इज द प्रोटोनीमा इसमें जो ब्रांचेस सबस्ट्रेटम के ऊपर होती हैं दे आर ग्रीन इन कलर और जो सबस्ट्रेटम के नीचे हैं दे आर पेल कलर्ड एंड दे दे आर दीज आर नोन एज राइजॉइडल ब्रांचेस और ये जो स्टेज होती है दिस इज शॉर्ट लिव्ड स्टेज इट इसकी जो लेटरल ग्रोथ से जो नेक्स्ट स्टेज बनती है दैर इज द मेच्योर गैमेटो फोर्थ स्टेज एंड दिस गैमेटो फोर्थ स्टेज डेवलप्स इन द फुल फ्लैच प्लान बॉडी गैमेटोफेरिक प्लान बॉडी विच कंजिस्ट ऑफ अ सेंट्रल एक्सेज जिसको कि कॉलॉइड कहा जाता है स्टैम की तरह स्ट्रक्चर दैन लिटरल लीव्स विच आर कॉमन नॉन एज फाइलॉइड एंड दीज स्ट्रक्चर ऑल्सो हेल्प्स इन वेजिटेटिव रिप्रोडक्शन दैर इज बाई फ्रेगमेंटेशन ऑफ दीज प्रोटोनिमल ब्रांचेस और ये जो ट्यूबर्स होते हैं राइजॉइड्स के ऊपर दे दे ऑल्सो हेल्प्स इन वेजिटेटिव रिप्रोडक्शन नेक्स्ट कम्स इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर्स इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर्स में हम सबसे पहले डिस्कस करेंगे स्टैम का स्ट्रक्चर सो जो स्टैम का सेक्शन है टी एस ट्रांसफर सेक्शन ऑफ स्टैम शोज थ्री डिस्टिंक्ट रीजन्स आउटर मोस्ट इज एपिडर्मिस विच इज़ अ सिंगल लेयर सिंगल लेयर विच कवर्स द नेक्स्ट कॉटेक्स एंड फाइनली द सेंट्रल कंडक्टिंग स्टैंड विच कंजिस्ट ऑफ थिक वर्ड सेल्स जिसको कि सेंट्रल सिलेंडर भी कहा जाता है सो फर्स्टली एपिडर्मिस इट इज़ द आउटर मोस्ट सिंगल लेयर प्रोडक्टिव कवरिंग विच कंजिस्ट ऑफ स्मॉल क्लोरोफिल बियरिंग सेल सो एक ही सिंगल लेयर्स होती है इसकी और इट इज़ अ प्रोटेक्टिव लेयर एंड कंटेन्स क्लोरोफिल बियरिंग सेल्स जो कि फोटोसिंथिस में हेल्प करते हैं क्यूटिकल एंड स्टोमेटाज आर एबसेंट सो क्यूटिकल और स्टोमेटा हैं वो इसमें एबसेंट होते हैं सो दिस इज अ सेक्शन एंड दिस इज द आउटर मोस्ट लेयर विच इज एपिडर्मिस इट आल्सो कंटेन्स क्लोरोप्लास्ट again in this photograph we can see in this photograph we can see here this is the outermost layer which is green in color and it bears chloroplast and cuticle and stomata are absent in this stem section next is cortex it is followed by epidermis it is present in between the epidermis and central conducting cylinder 
so this region from which starts from epidermis to the central cylinder and this region forms the cortex so it is present between the epidermis and conducting tissue and made up of parenchymatous cells mostly thin walled living parenchymatous cells se bana hota hai jo younger part hai cortex ka that contains chloroplast but lacks in the older parts jo younger portion hai initially isme chloroplast present hota hai but in mature portion jo chloroplast hai wo absent rehta hai at maturity few outer layers of cortex becomes thick walled and red, reddish brown in color jaise stem mature hota hai iski jo outer two three layers hoti hain they are thick walled and they are brownish in color and the inner cells remains thin walled aur jo center ki taraf cells hain they are this are still thin walled after maturity even after maturity next comes this internal innermost structure that is central conducting strand so this portion which is commonly known as hydroid kyunki isme xylem ki tarah xylem tracheids ki tarah thick walled cells hote hain and their main function is in conduction and these are known as hydroids these are made up of long narrow thin walled dead cells which lacks protoplasm and these cells are commonly known as hydroids or in cells ko commonly hydroids kaha jata hai inka jo main function hai that is they provide mechanical support to the plant body and also helps in conduction of water and solutes so xylem ke tracheids ki tarah inka function hota hai next comes internal structure of leaf so this is the whole amount of leaf jo hame microscope ke andar jo leaf dikhta hai this one if we cut its section then it shows various structures this one uh iski jo midrib ka side wale portions hain they are made up of single uh cell thick structures which are commonly known as wings and this portion which is broader or thick it is in the midrib region so leaf shows well defined midrib this is the midrib portion and in this photograph can also see this one is the midrib and with two lateral wings aur ye jo lateral structures hain these are known as wings except the midrib region jo leaf hai that is composed of single layered parenchymatous polygonal cell so this re this region ye bana hota hai single layered polygonal cell se and these cells contain many large prominent chloroplast or isme chloroplast present hota hai they are green in color and helps in photosynthesis and the central part of midrib has narrow conducting strand central portion mein conducting strand present hota hai which is made up of thick walled cells which helps in conduction so in this photograph we can see here is this region which consists of thick walled cells and its main role is in conduction of water this was all about this first part uh, within two or three days i will put the second part of this uh, funeria so if you have any questions queries and any suggestions you can give it in comment section thank you have a great day